Good evening. Hi. Hello, Carlos. Good evening. Hello, Roxana. Good evening. What happened yesterday? You didn't come yesterday, right? Sorry. No, pude conectarme. Estaba enferma. Y por eso no les pude avisar, pero por esa razón fue. Ok, Roxana. Gracias. Yes, there is more. Uh, uh, Adrian, don't worry. I read your message. Okay, good evening, everybody. We're going to start with today's class. And remember, the goal for today is to start section five. And also we are going to make a review about countable and non-countable nouns. Okay, Adrian is here. Ana Beatriz. Andrea Cecilia. Present. Okay. Brenda Guadalupe. Present. Excellent. Brenda Isabel. Present. Okay, Carlos Ricardo. Present. Excellent, Carlos Roberto. Cecia Beatriz. Darling Stephanie. Present. Excellent, Denis Giovanni. Edith Vanessa. Present. Excellent. Fátima Margarita. Present. Great. Flavio Emanuel. Present. Excellent. Gabriela Maribel. Present. Great. Carla Azucena. Present. Excellent. Carla Vanessa. Ok. No la escuché, pero por ahí la vi. Luis de Nilsson. Present. Excellent. Marvin Alexander. Miguel Antonio. Present. Ok. Nancy Yacel. Nancy Soledad. Nora Eloisa. Pamela Noemí Ok, Nancy Raquel Abigail Richard Joel Present. Excellent. Robert Adalberto. Ronnie Alexander. Present. Excellent. Roxana. Present. And Jamie. Present. Okay. Ana Beatriz. Present. Okay. okay. Anybody else? It's coming late. No? Carlos Quintanilla. Denis Giovanni. Okay, please for um we're going to make a review and we're going to enter 
to Kahoot that eat. This will be a quickly game to make a review about countable and non-countable nouns. Okay, so please access with the QR code, with the link, or with the pin, the game pin. Okay, excellent, Carla. Fatima, great. Okay, Gabby. Vanessa, Edith. Stephanie, Brenda. Ana Beatriz. Okay, remember, same, same instructions, same instructions. Access using your cell phone preferably or another device in which you are not connected okay if there are 10 questions no, 20 questions about Contable and non-contable nouns. Are you almost ready? Nobody's missing. Are you ready? Okay, so let us start. Seafood, it's countable or non-countable. Seafood. Okay, what happened? Seafood, the concept, the concept of seafood in general, it's non-countable. Okay, Gaby, Luis, and Fatima. Number two, bananas. Easy. Count or non count? Hurry up. Okay. ¿Quién me puso non contable? Tiene plural. We can count the bananas easily, so it's countable. Okay, Gabby, Luis, and Brenda in the third place. Cereal, cereal. Okay, let's see. Yes, excellent. Cereal is non-countable because it's pretty small. Okay, Gabby, continue on the first place. Potatoes. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm also non-countable. Potatoes in a plural, and you can count easily. Okay, they are countable. Okay, next. Rice. Okay, yes, non-countable, right? Luis, on the first place, excellent. Meat, meat. Okay, 
game. Meat is non-countable. Non-countable. Porque tenemos que decir, por ejemplo, a pound of meat. A, a slice of meat. Que okay, siempre necesitamos agregar algo para medirlo. Y tampoco tiene plural. Ok, Luis, Gaby, and Brenda. Milk. Ok, yes, no contable because it's liquid. Ok, excellent. Shellfish. Okay, shellfish is a kind of seafood. Um, también sería como in general, in general. El tipo, es un tipo de marisco. Por igual, ¿se recuerdan que dijimos que fish no tiene, eh, well, si, eh, es un irregular plural, okay, because it's the same as in singular and in plural. So it's the same to this, shellfish. Okay, por eso es non-countable. Okay, next. Cheese. Okay, one more. Yes, non-countable, correct, non-countable. Because you have to say a slide of cheese, a piece of cheese. Carrots. Contable, contable. Tiene plural, mire, carrots. Ok, Carla Vanessa on the first place. Nancy and Luis on the third place. Chicken. One more. Okay, chicken, al igual que meat, seafood, and shellfish, non-countable. Recuerde que estos son como, como los tipos in general. It's like poultry. Que okay, Carla, Nancy, and Brenda. Pasta. Okay, non-countable, non-countable, excellent. Okay, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Okay, what happened here? One, it's like hamburger. Cheeseburger. It's countable. Nancy on the first place. Cucumbers. Okay, cucumbers has a plural form. Okay, Nancy is on fire. 
Y now complete, complete the question. How many or how much eggs do you eat? Okay, eggs tiene plural, por lo que es contable, entonces vamos a utilizar many. Okay, excellent. How many or much water do you drink? Okay, yes, uncountable mush. Next, I drink much or many milk. Uncountable mush. Hey, Richard, apareció por ahí. How often do you eat vegetable or vegetables? Okay, vegetables in plural. Okay. It's nice, Adrian. It's back with an answer streak of three. Okay, 19. Do you eat many or a lot of red meat? One more, one answer, okay. Okay, meat. Meat is uncountable. Many is para countable things. Entonces, y a lot of, okay, se sería para uncountable. Okay, and the last question. How many or much chicken do you buy? Okay, chicken is uncountable, uncountable. Okay, let's see the board of winners. Are you ready? Who do you think will be the first place? Nadie, no creen. Say, I will be the winner. Okay, let's see the third place. Carla Vanessa, second place, Brenda Martinez. And the first place is for Nancy. Excellent, good job, girls. Okay. How was it? Easy? It was easy? Hello? No se dieron... A ver. No se tomaron la sopa de perico. Más o menos, <ríe> más o menos sentí fácil. 
Más o menos. So, so. Sí, me confundí un poco. Ajá, so. Ok. Why? Why do you think you are confused? Uh, con lo de la, el many, cuando es question, en eso me sentí un poco confundida, pero siempre hay que tomar en cuenta si es, si es countable o uncountable, ¿verdad? Yes, correcto. Okay. Vimos, eh, bueno, les voy a compartir un cuadro quizás que tengo por acá de lo que se puede usar y lo que no se puede usar con countable y non-countable nouns. Y tenemos como algunas expresiones que en cuanto a Creo que en el material venían solo, solo algunas, no venían todas. Pero eh, les voy a compartir este, este cuadrito. Let me see. Well, we also have a video here, but. Okay, le voy a mandar este link. The video has uh, eight minutes. It's too long. Okay, le voy a mandar mejor el cuadrito condensado. También, teacher, cuando eh, si la respuesta es negativa, es positiva. Ahí también este tengo un poco de duda. ¿Cuándo se usa el many? ¿Cuándo el son? Eh, any. Any, el, sería, el, el any. Any sería para negativas. Any. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. okay, well. Yes, some... Recuerden que ese lo podíamos usar en ambos casos. Son para plural y para, well, para contable y para non-contable. Um, okay, I only have this. Wait a minute. Ok, pero en sí, digamos que para clasificar si son contables o no contables, eso sí está claro. En general, ¿cómo los vamos a diferenciar? Sí, yes, sí. Yes. Por mi parte, okay. sí. Solo sería más que todo eh, como las palabras que se pueden usar con ellos, ¿verdad? Yes. Vaya, ahorita se los voy a mandar aquí. Pero a ver si... Mmm, no, creo que aquí no me deja subir. Por... Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes, tell me. Eh, ¿Por qué el pescado es incontable? No, era shellfish. Shellfish es lo mismo que seafood. Es como otra forma de decirlo. Serían mariscos. Shellfish. Oh. Shellfish eh, son mariscos. Entonces, eh, por eso les decía yo que como los conceptos en general... Vaya, este creo que no lo vimos. Wall Street. ¿Verdad que ese no lo vimos? Ahorita les digo. 
Okay, poultry. Que okay, este abarca en general eh, las carnes blancas. Poultry. Que okay. poultry, chicken, meat. Um, como digamos que serían como las como las categorías en sí o en general esas van a ser siempre uncountable bueno y también vaya por ejemplo el chicken you have to say lo que les decía yo a pound I want to buy a pound una libra a pound of chicken o I want to eat a, a piece of chicken or a quarter of chicken. Entonces siempre necesitamos añadir una forma para contabilizar la cantidad, para cuantificar. Entonces es igual que la seafood. Okay, the seafood, it's uncountable, porque es in general, en general. Okay. Creo que ya. O sea que es otra, otra manera de decir mariscos. Yes, correct. Ah, que solo se me sabía de la seafood. Ajá, es shellfish también. Shellfish. Way. Shellfish. Ok, thank you. Ok. Vaya, en el grupo les voy a mandar el cuadro y ya lo vamos a ver ahorita. Se lo voy a explicar. Pero quiero que les quede por ahí. Que creo que no ampliamos mucho esto de los quantifiers, porque en el libro solo salía some, a y an. Pero lo vamos a ver ahorita rapidito. Very, very quickly. Vaya. Sí, Vale, tenemos ahí el cuadrito de los quantifiers. Que okay, los quantifiers son los que nos van a indicar cantidad. Puede ser tanto para countable nouns o como para uncountable nouns. El hecho de que no se puedan contar no significa que no se puedan medir, ¿ok? O visualizar la, la cantidad. So, if you have Contable, eh, contable nouns, okay, you can use these quantifiers. Okay, many, a few, well, many when you have a lot, cuando tienen bastantes, many. A few cuando tienen pocos, a few. Eh, a number of, a, lar a large number of a majority of or several. Okay, eso sería cuando tenemos countable nouns. Um, for example, there are only a few bananas in my refrigerator. Okay, bananas is countable. Y tengo pocas, I will use a few. Okay. Y con las cosas que son uncountable, podemos utilizar much para cuando tenemos muchas, a little, okay. a little cuando tenemos pocas, um, there is only a little water in my bottle, a bit, que okay. eso sería como más para, para grupos, a number of, a bit, a large amount of, a large quantity of, a plenty of, plenty of. Que okay, eso sería para uncountable. Y tenemos algunas que se pueden usar para ambos, both. 
podemos usar all, o sea, todas, ¿verdad? All, enough, ¿ok? Puede ser para cualquiera. I have enough water in my bottle. O I can say, I uh, have enough tomatoes to my salad, in my salad. Que okay, some, que ya lo habíamos es visto. Enough. Enough. enough es suficiente. Ah, ok. Yes. Como la cantidad adecuada. Some, que ya lo habíamos visto, que se puede utilizar con ambos. Any, que también se puede utilizar con ambos, pero ¿en qué ocasiones? Hello. Negative questions. questions. Yes, correct. Thank you. Que okay. only negative questions, o sea, cuando no hay, and in, uh, when you ask, okay, si tiene. Do you have any potatoes? Um, okay. Y a lot of, a lot of. Okay. Ahí les queda entonces el cuadrito con los quantifiers. Yo creo que eso también lo van a ver más adelante. Ahorita es un bonus. Porque solo vimos algunos, algunos de ellos. Pero más adelante van a ver los demás. Ok. Questions of this part. Creo que con eso está un poquito más claro, right? Yes. Y ahí eso solamente de recordar de cuando representan como categorías o conceptos van a ser uncountable things. No las vamos a poder contar. Bueno, igual cuando decimos mariscos, en general, uh, no podemos decir me comí un marisco. O sea, no decimos así. O me comí dos mariscos. O sea, it's because it's in general, okay? Mariscos is like to be. Well, then now we are going to start section five, which is I can't I skate very well. Okay, that's the name of the section. And we are going to talk about sports. Okay, that will be the topic. Sports seasons in the US and Canada. Okay, we have, well, there are four seasons because here in El Salvador, we only have two, two seasons. But around the world, okay, there are four seasons. Okay, we have spring, fall, summer, and winter. Okay, there are four seasons. Okay, here in El Salvador, we have winter and uh, summer. Okay, summer almost all the time, right here. And winter only a couple of months during the year. But in other places, uh, they have the four seasons. Okay, for example, in spring, people okay, play golf, or play soccer. Okay, spring is the time when the flowers are blossom. Okay, it's full of flowers. Uh, it's rainy sometimes. Okay, that's spring. The butterflies are uh, flying on the sky. It's warm but it's not hot, it's warm, okay? So you can play golf or soccer during spring. Then we have uh, summer, okay? Summer uh, is hotter, it's hotter than spring, okay? In summer, the sun is shining, it's very hot and it's not rainy. It's not, it's not rain on summer or during summer. 
Okay, in summer people play baseball, tennis, volleyball, okay, and or go swimming. Okay, those activities or those sports you can practice in summer. Then we have fall. In fall, there is a lot of winter, a, a lot of wind, and the, the leaves of the trees are falling down. Por eso se llama fall. También se le conoce como autumn. Autumn. Okay, fall or autumn. In the, some trees uh, change their color. They are not, not green. Uh, they are brown or red or yellow. Okay, that's fall. Okay, during fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. Okay, here in El Salvador, we play, I uh, know. Okay, football is different from soccer. Okay, soccer is the most famous sport in the world. Okay, and football is American football. Okay, with a helmet and it's very violent to me. Okay, American football. And the last is the winter. Okay, winter like frozen, right? And there is the snow. Um, most of the times you celebrate Christmas in winter because it's in the last months of the year. Okay, here in El Salvador we don't have snow, but uh, it's a, a rainy time. Okay, in winter, here in El Salvador rains. Okay, and people play. Hockey, basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Okay. Questions about vocabulary. Y después le voy a explicar. Es otoño. Yes. Y el fútbol. O sea, para ellos es, es el fútbol americano y el soccer es el fútbol que para nosotros es fútbol. Yes. ¿Verdad? Ah, ok. Y it's in general, para todos. Ajá. O sea, ajá. ajá. No o sea, aquí cuando decimos alguien. fútbol, ajá, aquí cuando decimos fútbol, es el fútbol normal. Es soccer, ajá. Ajá, ah, es, ah, but okay. it's soccer, ajá. Uh -huh. But um, most of the times we get confused and we say, football because we are accustomed to that but the correct word is soccer okay soccer okay what is skin this one skin what is the meaning skiar Esquiar, skin. Ok. Vale, vamos a ver. Eh, aquí tenemos only two differences. To some sports, we use the word play. Ok, play. Para los que, o cómo vamos a recordar que para estos deportes vamos a utilizar el verbo play y no otro, como por ejemplo go or do, sino que play y no para todos lo vamos a usar, sino que solamente se va a utilizar con aquellos sports in which you have to use a ball, a ball. Por ejemplo, golf, soccer. Baseball, tennis, volleyball, ho well, hockey is not a ball, but in basketball. Okay, you need a ball to play. Okay, ya sea big, small, or 
like in hockey, the, which is black and hard. Si se utiliza una pelota, okay, you are going to use play. Play. Luego, para los que se realizan al exterior, para los sports que se realizan al exterior, okay, you are going to use go. Como go, bike riding. Go bike riding. Okay, you have to go outside up to the mountain or to the streets on a Sunday, que hoy que están promoviendo bastante el, el bike riding. Okay, so, but you have to go out. Okay, ahí vamos a utilizar go. Go hiking. Okay, what is the meaning of hiking? Tenemos skying and hiking. What's that? Okay, hiking, yes? Yes, Edith? No. Okay, hiking is very similar to walk, but um, it's walking, but with a purpose to say that, because you go, um, up, up a mountain or so you walk but with an objective you want to go or you want to to arrive uh, to a specific place a un lugar específico Entonces, that's the difference because you can go and walk but you didn't know where you go you are only walking Okay, in a forest, pero si ya, por ejemplo, ya lleva un guía, a tourist guide, a group of people, you have uh, your backpack, special boots, so that's hiking, ya es diferente. O sea, no es solo como hacerlo por hacer, sino que ya va como preparado y lleva un objetivo, una meta, por lo general, de, de distance. You want that that you want to walk, okay? That's that's hiking, okay? Y para eso, obviamente, también you need to go to a different place, okay? Esas serían como, in general, the differences. Questions? No. Mucho hablo. Hoy les va a tocar a ustedes. En la conversation. Now is your turn. I'm thirsty because I'm talking too much. Que okay, dice, I love sports. Let me see if we have the conversation. Wait a minute. Here is today section five. Okay, vocabulary, que es el que acabamos de ver. to how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? 
Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. You play sports or watch a lot of sports. Okay. Are you ready? Now is your turn. To volunteers, please, to model the conversation. Me. Okay. Me, teacher. Okay. Empiezo. Okay. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are a really good athlete. When do you play at this sport? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay, thank you. Muy bien, we have favorites. Favorites. And athlete. Athlete. Only those. Okay, two more. Two more volunteers, please. Yes. Okay, Adit. And a brave man who wants to save Me. the day. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> so Edith, okay. what do you do? So, Justin, what do you in your break time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, okay. Um, esa pronunciación no sé si es así o estoy okay. equivocada. Okay. Ah, okay. Hockey. Ah, hockey. Basketball and soccer are my are my favorite. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh. I don't play that sport. I just watch them on television. Okay, thank you. Okay, baseball, baseball. Okay, también, no creo que no fue conmigo, que, pero no sé si les enseñaron la diferencia entre this singular and this plural. La diferencia, sí creo que estaba en el manual. La diferencia de pronunciaciones. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? A ver, se lo voy a... De singular eh, es más, como más corto que, que plural. Yes, correct. Ok, this, como dice Roxana, ok, short. And this, it's longer. Ok, great. Do you have questions about this conversation? No. Okay. Roxana, uh, do you want to participate? Uh, do you want to participate with the conversation? And Carlos, Ricardo. The last, the last two okay. to read the conversation. Roxana, que volvamos a participar en la conversación, a practicar la conversación. Yes. Ah, okay. Usted no okay. la ha hecho, verdad? Sí, ya, ya participé. Ya. You. Sí. Ah, okay. Entonces Flavio. Okay. Flavio and eh, Carlos. Okay. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, 
baseball and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are really good athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Okay, thank you. Um, favorites again, favorites and athletes. Que por lo general cuando tenemos dos vowels, una seguida de la otra, la primera vowel toma el long sound, de, las vocales tienen dos sonidos. Entonces en este caso cambiaría como el sonido de, la, eh, de una I, de athlete, cuando, cuando tenemos two vowels. Ok, ok. That's it. Then we have, again, double H questions. I don't know why. We do a lot of these examples, okay, but we can continue practicing. Okay, here we have more, more double H words. Most of them we already learned. Okay, ya las habíamos aprendido, verdad? What, who, where. How often, when, and what time. Creo que esta es la única que no habíamos visto. What time. Okay, what, ya habíamos dicho para qué, eh, como para preguntas en específicas. Who, para personas. Okay, y aquí se está utilizando con with. Okay, que significa con quién. Okay, who do you play baseball with? Y recuerde que la forma correcta sería el with at the end. Okay, who do you play baseball with? Then we have where to places, how often para frequency, when para dates, and what time para horas. Okay, let's see. Andrea, help me to read the first two examples, the question and the answer. The microphone, Andrea. Eh, me, ¿Tengo que decirle la pregunta y la respuesta? Sí, de la primera y la segunda. What sport do you play? Mm. Aquí está, esta sería. I play hockey and basketball. Baseball. Hockey baseball. and baseball. And baseball. Yeah. Hockey and baseball. Yes. Mm. Number two. Who do you play? Who? Who do you? Who? 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 Who do you play baseball with? With. I play. Come. With. With. I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, the next two will be for Richard and Brenda Isabel. Number three, Richard. Number three. Where? Uh, where? Uh, okay. Three. Where, where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. Okay. For? Me. Yes. How often do you practice? We practice one or twice a week. Okay, once, once. Say once. One. Once. Once. Like this? 
con C, once, well, S, suena como una S, once. Once. Okay, you have to practice. Okay. Okay, vamos Brenda with the last two. Uh, when do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yes, correct. Thank you. Okay. We have a conversation. We are going to complete with double H words. Okay, let's see. I think we have an exercise here. Yes. Okay. I watch sports on television every weekend. Really? What sports do you like to watch? Okay, soccer is my favorite. What, when, who, where, how do you usually watch soccer? When. When. Okay, yes, porque tenemos ahí en la respuesta mm. a day. Okay, when do you usually watch soccer? On Sundays afternoons. And do you usually watch it at home? Where? Okay. Where? Where do you usually watch it at home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Okay, number two. Volunteers to read an answer. How often do you buy writing? How often? Okay. How often do you go bike riding? Okay. The answer then is oh. Esta parte. Dennis. Um, oh, about once a month. Okay. I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. Okay, continue, Fatima. Really? Really? Do you, you go? Um, ¿Y la palabra que falta? Well. Okay, de, dice about one o'clock. Esa es la respuesta a la pregunta. Aquí están las opciones. Well. When? Uh, we say I usually at about one o'clock. Bueno, yo creo que sería what time. ¿Qué le pusieron los demás? When. when okay when do you go I usually at about one o'clock it sounds real year okay oh yeah the last one who well. mm. so, so do you usually go with my sister come with us next time. Okay, yes. To me, en esta, como le digo, sería what time, más que when. Because when is for dates, para fecha, días. Pero si la respuesta es one o'clock, 
Okay, it's what time to me? Okay. Este sería ya almost the 50% on the platform. Okay. Vamos a llegar hasta ahí only. Let me check the attendance again. Carlos Roberto. Present. Hi, Carlos. Denis Giovanni. De sí lo vi. Denis. Wake up. Present teacher. Okay. Marvin Alexander. Marvin, Marvin. No. Nancy Soledad. Present. Okay. Nora Eloisa. Pamela Noemí. Raquel Abigail. Robert Adalbert. Present. Okay. So that's it. That's all for today. Go and work on the platform. See you tomorrow. See bye -bye. you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.